Hello Zebraherd and welcome to Meetopia, the newest 3DS game I'll be playing here on the channel. This is super exciting for me because I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I've tried it out a little bit and I can already guarantee you it is so much fun. So I'm gonna be playing a lot of it here on the channel just because I think we're gonna all have a good time with it because most importantly, you, yes, you watching, could be a part of the series. You could feature yourself in it because just like Meetomer, which we covered in April of last year, which is a Android and iOS game that is basically a social media service but you can use your Miis in it. And we actually included tons of the Zebra Herd members in that series. Some of you will actually be able to be featured in this series. So what I need you to do, before we get started with anything actually, first let me thank Nintendo so much for sending me a copy of this game early so that I can get footage and you know content to you guys early. So that's pretty fun. But first off, there's a lot we have to go over. There is a decent chance that I can get some of you know the Zebra Herd featured in this series, but at first, it's not too many. I can only feature three people in my party. Of course, one of the fun things about this game is that you can also feature just random me's. Like, the game will just pull in me's from anywhere, and sometimes they can be fictitious characters, sometimes they can be real life, you know, from, or anything, like celebrities, superheroes, cartoon characters, you get the deal. But our party will only consist of you guys, the viewers. And there's two ways you can get on this series. The first one is that you can take a QR code of your main. Now, to do that, you should be able to do it through your 3DS or through Miitomo. So if you don't have a 3DS but you have Miitomo, you're in luck because you can still be in part of the series. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of the QR code and then send it to me on Twitter. You can find my Twitter in the description below. It is at MrZebraGamer. You can go ahead and tweet that at me. You can follow me if you like, but you know that's up to you. Tweet me your QR code and that'll give you a chance and the highest chance to be added to this series. Now the second option isn't as high of a chance because of a number of reasons I'll explain. The second chance is that you can add me on 3DS. I'll include my 3DS code in the comment section below. It'll be the pinned comment, but I only have so many friend slots open and it takes more time to accept friends. So if you're going to do that one, be ready for the fact that I might not be able to add as many people through that and you have a smaller chance of being included in the series. So there's only so many of you I can add because like I said, I can only have three party members at a time, but you do get multiple parties as far as I know, so it'll give us a chance to get some other members in. So with that being said, I think we're good to go. Let's get started with Metopia. Ooh, we got a bit of a theatric. What's going on? Oh, a big old island. This is the world of Metopian. Oh, and it's on a picture. And this guy's drinking tea while staring at a picture. And this lady's farming. I guess all the Mies are just doing their own thing. Are they gonna dance? It is a world where every me can live in peace and harmony. Or at least it was. Uh-oh. No, purple! No, the face are being taken away. The darkness came without warning. Come on, she's just trying to grow some plants. No, her face, she can't do that without her face. A great and terrible shadow threatening all of Metopia. Oh no, you really can't drink tea without a face. No, the tea's everywhere, it ruined the painting. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Whoa, he's got a lot of faces there. An unspeakably, an unspeakably evil fiend started stealing everyone's faces. And then, to add insult to injury, Hey, get those faces back to, oh no. He's putting them on bad guys. The Fiend gave the faces to monsters. Oh no. <laughs> like, at least it gives him a lot of personality. Oh, what's happening now? This is like a pretty, oh, hey, look, it's me. <laughs> Hello, I guess I'm totally unscathed. Behold, a simple traveler. Zebra, me. Ah, oh. ah! <sighs> Another peaceful day. Zebra is wandering alone wherever the path takes him. Hmm. Oh, uh, oh no! It's a pair of eyeballs. Creepy. It's just floating around. Oh, is it gonna go on the butterfly? <laughs> More like butter eye. You get it? No, not a good joke. That's okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> That's sort of creepy. Ah! <laughs> oh! I'm just running. Look at my waddle. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! Run, waddle away! I love the running animation. Ah. Oh. oh! Where am I? Oh no, I'm lost. It looks exactly the same as the other area. Ah! 
Zebra spies in a nearby town. Ooh, okay, so it looks like we found somewhere to go. Oh, look at this, so we are near Eason Hills. It looks like we have a little map here, so let's move over here and enter this area. Okay, cool stuff. The roles of townspeople will be automatically filled by recommended me characters created by other players. You can change them if you like in me cast. So we can change things if we want to, but I like the idea of also having some fun random characters in the mix just to make things a little crazy. But like I said, the party that'll be joining me throughout the series and will have the most screen time will all be Zebra Herd members. I don't recognize any of these characters. <laughs> it's Majin Buu, it's Mujin Buu. Okay, misspelled. Bit boring today. Huh? What's up with you? Monsters with people's faces? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Greenhorn's a peaceful place. A place to have all your woes behind. Or leave all your woes behind. I, I can't do a boo voice, but it's weird that boo is speaking normally. Uh, Beyonce? <laughs> a joyous day. Isn't the weather just beautiful? Oh, an adventure. Why the long face? You can't go around looking like that. Come on, give us a smile, you know you want to. Oh no, I'm smiling. A smile brings happiness. So I guess she's just a shop vendor now. Hello, who are you? Crom, I don't know who this is. Sassy child Crom. Wee hoo hoo, I'm a dragon. Rawr. I think maybe this is like a uh, Fire Emblem character. And who are you? Oh, is Worried Mother 2B. I think this is a, uh, some kind of game character. Stop it, Grom! Calm down or you'll hurt yourself. This child has me at my wit's end. Oh, an adventurer, please excuse me. My child has so much energy. It's hard for me to keep up. Dude, okay, I don't know why I gave you such a deep voice, but hey, who are these two? Sheepman and Fior? I don't know who these characters are, but they are a lovey-dovey couple. I guess the guy on the left is just supposed to be a guy that looks like a sheep. Aw, he 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 he. You're so cute, Fior. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. No, you're cute, sheep man. <laughs> I feel like I'm dreaming. Well, can you count the sheep? Shall I pinch you? He 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 he. Huh, I looked very confused. Hello, are you? No, you're not. No, you just... Yeah, I don't know who you are. Sarcastic guy, Jura? What? We don't see your type often. You here visiting or something? Yeah. Huh, some kind of relaxation vacation, is it? Must be so nice for you, I'm so jealous. See, most of the characters seem to be from anime that people are making knees of, and I just don't know. Oh, it's Link! Link is the dubious man. Welcome, adventure, or as he would say, hiat, hiat. <laughs> like he's swinging his sword. I'm the mayor of this town. I take it you've spoken to all the townsfolk? I guess this is what he does after Breath of the Wild. He just returns, or retires to being a mayor. Greenhorn's a nice town, but I'm the mayor, so I kind of have to say that. Huh? Uh-oh, what's happening? Hey, what is that? What? Where? Oh! What is it, Mommy? Oh, goodness. Fiora, sheep man. <laughs> That's just really weird. This can't be good. Huh? Oh no, it's... Uh, oh no, who's it gonna be? The Dark Lord, a wicked presence who rules monsters from the shadows. So choose a me to pay the Dark Lord. And this is a th sort of thing, I don't want one of the Zebra Herd members to be one of the Dark Lords or any of the bad guys, because one thing, I don't want any of you to represent anything negative that would be fighting against. I feel like that one would be fair. But it's also fun because this will be a really fun thing to have like a fictitious character. We can auto assign it, we can create one, or we can read a QR code, which this is what we're probably going to do once we um, add, party members, which we'll be doing next episode. Episode two, at the very beginning, we'll be choosing our first party member. So once again, tweet me your QR code. Uh, so with that being said, let's auto assign and see what it gives me. Snake, we're gonna, we're gonna auto assign a couple times so I can just sort of see. Steve Urkel? Tingle? Broly, I don't, uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Darth Vader? Waluigi, okay, we gotta do Waluigi. I think we have to do Waluigi. Troll face? Bill, Gabe Newell, <laughs> Mr. Saturn, Voldemort, I'll do one more just so we can get a few options. Okay, I think we're gonna do Waluigi. We, we have to do Dark Lord Waluigi, are you kidding me? Okay, Dark Lord Waluigi, you are our wicked presence that hides in the shadows. You've been stealing everyone's faces, you monster. Oh, oh my, here he is. 
Dark Lord Waluigi. It's a sort of a tongue twister. <laughs> I am the Dark Lord Waluigi. I've come to wreak havoc and terror on this miserable little world. And I am starting with you, people of Greenhorn. I hope I can do a decent Waluigi voice. Time to taste true fear and say goodbye to your faces. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Is he gonna take my face? Is gonna be game over already? No, Beyonce. No, Majin Buu. It really is taking all the faces. Dark Lord must be really powerful. Both Link, the hero of time, was defeated Ganon time and time again, and Majin Buu cannot defeat the Dark Lord. Ah, Fiora. Okay, so Sheep Man's fine. Don't worry, Sheep Man's okay. And no, this guy. I think he's an anime character too. Oh, it's terrible. You're not gonna do anything, Link? The faces. Jeez, I thought Link would spring into action, but now he's a changed man. Humph. This will do nicely for now. Listen up, you faceless freaks. Oh no, did they have ears still? Get used to a life of worldless terror, because that's the that's what you're stuck with, and those who have been spared. Oh, us. <laughs> Take a nice long look at your poor little friends and despair. So long. <laughs> well, there he goes, the jerk. What are we gonna do now? Can I talk to Yoon? Uh, help, crikey. I wanna put it by Link to say crikey. That seems weird. So jerk, they just can't speak, they don't have faces. Fiora's pretty face. Oh. Now she can't even whisper sweet nothings. <laughs> okay. What about you? Oh no, the mother of all things. Crom, my poor baby. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Oh, adventurer, I beg you, please. Please help my Crom. Sure, we'll help you out. Oh, thank you so ever much, or ever so much, I know. Oh? Please, take this. It's our family's good luck charm. You got an antique charm. I fear the Dark Lord still lurks nearby. What does that thing do? Could you maybe take a look around this, uh, around outside the town? You accepted the Mother's Quest. Okay, so we'll be doing that. Uh, what about you? You're, you're not gonna be able to talk. And you're not gonna be able to talk. Poor Majin Buu and Beyonce. Okay, what kind of world are we going into? So now we can move on to the next area, right here, which is of course going to be whatever this is. So let's find out. So this is hopefully where we'll find Krom and be able to save him. I'm pretty sure he's a Fire Emblem character. Oh, here's Waluigi's back already. The Dark Lord Waluigi. <laughs> is someone trying to be the big hero? Not me, no, I'm just strolling around. around. Give Krom's face back, you jerk. What, this old thing? Mm-hmm. Hmm, maybe I'll give this one back to you. But you'll have to earn it. Uh-oh, what? How good are you in a fight? <sighs> oh gosh, we gotta do our first bet battle all on our own. We gotta fight Crown Space, we're gonna do damage to him, the poor guy. He's looking determined though. He sort of looks like Link here. Me seeing you, if you survive, that is. <laughs> I've already sort of forgotten how I did the voice. That happens to me a lot for some reason. Uh. Oh no! Oh, look, the pendant's saving us. The family heirloom is glowing, and a voice is coming from it. Oh, really? Oh, Zebra. Zebra, can you hear me? No? <laughs> it does seem like you're hearing me. What good fortune this is. Now, you may not believe this, but I'm kind of a guardian spirit. What? Please, just hear me out. It seems you're a bit of trouble. You're in a bit of trouble, my child. Would you like a little help? Sure. Oh, excellent, excellent. Iron bestoweth upon thee the awesome power of the guardian. Okay, gift of divine power. Oh, this is nice. You've learned about jobs. So this is more about divine knowledge. The power of jobs, your job is is your key to defeating monsters. This is like our class. Now, select a job you would like. So do we have an option for? Jobs determine your role in battle. Some are tailored more towards fighting, while others are better suited to healing. 
Your weapons and the types of clothes you can wear are determined by your job. You can, however, fully customize your looks and clothes later. Have fun! Cool, so we get to choose six different classes and we can actually select them to get more information. So we have a warrior, we have a mage, wait, we have a, uh, wait, wait, mage, a cleric, a thief, a pop star, male, female, and chef. So there are a number of different things. Now, from my knowledge, as we can read all each one, you know, wields a powerful sword and is skilled at both attack and defense, deals stupendous damage, blasting away enemies with magical might. The go-to support role tends to tends to the party's injuries with divine magic. Swift as the wind, with a repertoire of skills designed to confound enemies. Uh, inspires the party with boundless energy and the magic of song. And then finally the chef cooks up cures and stirs up trouble in equal parts with a trusty frying pan. I think we're gonna go with the mage. I think that's gonna be the most helpful for now. I mean, we could do the warrior. <laughs> I do like how I look in, like all of them really, they all look sort of funny. But I, <laughs> that one sort of looks weird. I don't know if I like that one so much. I think we'll go with the mage. I think this is gonna be the best one for us right now. Let's go! Ziva became a mage! Yane, that's gonna be something, right? Oh, oh, look at us! In our fancy garb and our magical wand. Nice! So what now? Would you look at that? Oh, this is just what you need to deal with the Dark Lord's friends, our fiends. Now fight, oh Zebron! Make your foes fear you! Okay, sure. We'll beat him up. Beat him up good. Uh oh. Hello. Here goes nothing. So can we really beat this guy up? Do we have any spells? I should probably should have checked for that. I mean, I hope it isn't like difficult to tell at first. Mini Crom Slime. Okay. He's all golden and everything. Let's beat up, and we can also auto battle. Like if we're not interested in battling in this game, I think you can literally just auto battle throughout the entire game. Okay, so we're beating you up, but you're beating me up too. Okay, so we're doing okay. So it looks like no matter what, I think we're gonna be able to win this, right? Oh, he's, he's turn, it's his turn, he's beating me up. No, he got a double attack in. Ta time to act. He might win if he's gonna get double attacks in. Attack again. Can I get a double attack too? Ooh, first cool quirk, pressure point. So we could also choose our personality. I chose cool, and that means I also get some extra damage. Yes, we did it. Ah, <laughs> okay, so we defeated the Crom Slime. Wee! Bye bye! So we have rescued one face. Zebra wins! Nice! So we are a victor. I think we won. And that's plus on experience. Did we get to level two? We got some slime jelly. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, geez. Being an adventurer is hard work. I'm sleepy. Excellent work, young zebra. Oh, it was nothing. Now that child should be safe. Oh, things are looking up. Well, I mean, I'm looking up, literally. Time to make your way back to the town of Greenhorn. Okay, sure thing. So we're going back, just like that nice and simply. And I guess we should go talk to the mother. Maybe she can uh, give us some information on what's going on. Like maybe her child just gets her face back magically. I'm not, or his face, I think. Karma Zahiba, we're about to find out what happens here. Your face has returned, my friend. Oh, okay, you gotta catch it first. <laughs> Boom, nice, we did it. Hey! Oh, I love the music. Blah. Okay, whatever you say. Yippee, I'm back! Crom! Oh, there's the mother. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. I just I just attacked your face with my wand for a couple minutes. Oh, thank the stars! And thank you, kind traveler. Please take this gift as a mother's appreciation. What are you gonna give us? Money! It's the best gift you could ever give. But at least it's not gift cards. Oh, we're we gonna go back to talking to our divine spirit. Oh, wonderful, just wonderful. Now then, Zebra, my child. I have another task for you. You do? You have seen the deeds of the Dark Lord Waluigi. He's made quite the mess, and that's putting it mildly. And so I commission you. Huh? Or gulp, <laughs> that's not a huh. Defeat the vile Waluigi and save this world. Um, no thanks. I wanna make YouTube videos instead. Well, unfortunately, you have no say in the matter. <laughs> Look at my face. You do owe me for saving you from that monster. 
Your new power should help you contend with Waluigi. Now, Mage Zebra, go forth, defeat the Dark Lord. I expect great things from you. <laughs> okay. So we are now a mage. We've defeated our first monster and restored our first phase. And we have ourselves a divine spirit that watches over us. Now what? Uh, maybe I could talk to uh, you? Hello. Greenhorn used to be so peaceful. I must inform the king at once. Ah, adventurer. I'm at a loss on what to do here. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I ate a little too much and my tummy got big. Okay, I guess I'll just go do it myself, right? Am I just... Oh, yeah, okay, there's a new path open. What is this gonna be, and who is that on the mini-map? I'm not sure. Eason Hills, so we're finally in Eason Hills. Oh, this is peaceful. More like peaceful hills, I like it. We could hang out here for a little while. Oh, the journey continues. So now we're just walking. Hope I haven't missed any treasure. Do we just walk? Oh, you know what? This is probably where we walk from point to point. Oh, ah, and random events happen, like battling. Okay, butterfly, whoa, rock moth. Okay, why is he a rock moth? Attack, time to act. Hit him with the stick, bah! <laughs> right now he's a stick swinger. Uh, usually he's a mage first, cool quirk, avoid. Ooh, so we have uh, the one that does extra damage, pinpoint, and now we also have avoid. So that's actually some pretty useful stuff. All right, ready? Boom! So we're doing pretty good, I think we just got him, yes! Nice, so there is another enemy done. Uh, some weird eyes. So I guess they're just random faces like that. Oh, those faces just fly right off of defeated monsters, huh? Whoever owned that face has you to thank for freeing it. Just like that with that sassy youngster you helped earlier. Put another away, defeating monsters, put another way. Defeating monsters helps people get their faces back. So keep defeating monsters and help as many people as you can. Can you do that for me, Zebra? Ho ho! All right, so we've rescued two faces in total. I wonder how many we're gonna do by the end of the game. I guess we'll find out. Did we win? I think we did. So we can replay the battle if we want to, I guess if we didn't do that well. So we got another level up, or our first level up. Zebra is gaining a level, we got some extra stats here, and, and we learned fire. Toast a single enemy with mystic fire, magic. The fact that it points out that I can toast a single enemy makes me think that maybe there are multiple enemy spells, like you know, like you can hit more than one person, whoa. So if I press B, I can run, I guess to make it faster. For me, Topian! Oh, did we get to the end? Uh-oh, looks like our hero's in trouble. Huh? Oh gosh, can I handle two of them? I don't know. I can't fight these things. They're just butterflies, dude, come on. Oh, looks like you're having a tough time there, champ. But don't worry, help is coming. Budo, Bude, Budi! Is that supposed to be like his magical bibbidi bobbidi boo Oh, and here we go. So this is where we can choose our first ever me to companion with, and this is where I'm gonna leave it to you. So feel free in the comment section, let me know your friend code if you wanna add me that way, or actually more importantly, you should add me. If you add, if you give me your friend code for me to add you, that's gonna even lessen your chances. So there's, like I said, in the beginning of this video, make sure you rewatch it if you have to. The best way for you to be included in this series and to highly, get the highest likelihood of being the first me we add, tweet at me your QR code right here. I can read a QR code, I won't do it now because it'll turn on my camera, but go ahead and do that. Go ahead and tweet at me your QR, QR code. That is gonna be the best way for me to add you. If you cannot do that, then you can try to add me, but like I said, it only takes like five seconds to make a Twitter. It's the best way and the easiest way for me and you, so go ahead and give that a shot. But for now, we're gonna be finishing off today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of Metopian. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Me, so now you've watched the video, and you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now or subscribe to join the zebra herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.